Daniel Caustic presents Premiership Elections in Albertan History. This election took place on March 22, 1909, and was the second election in the province's history. It came after the conclusion of the first term of Liberal Premier Alexander Rutherford. During his first term, the Liberals were faced with major regional unrest, primarily around the selection of a permanent provincial capital. The major cities of Calgary and Edmonton both had strong cases made, with Banff and Red Deer also being considered, but these motions failed to receive any seconders. In the end, Edmonton was named the capital by a vote of 16 to 8. There was also unrest started from conflicts between the government and various labor unions, in particular when coal miners began to be locked out of mines after refusing to sign new contracts. The government appointed a commission to resolve the disputes, but the solutions proposed were deemed insufficient by union leaders. The largest area of influence that the Rutherford government had was in education. Rutherford had been serving as premier and education minister at the same time, and during his term, 140 new schools were opened, along with a normal school dedicated to training new teachers. Controversy arose around the opening of the University of Alberta and where it should be built. It was eventually built in Strathcona, Rutherford's hometown, much to the dismay of Calgary and southern Alberta. Some other initiatives taken were maintaining the separate school system, establishing speed limits for motorized vehicles, and incorporating the cities of Lethbridge, Medicine Hat, and Wetaskiwin. After the chaos that ensued after the previous election around vote rigging and gerrymandering, a new riding map was created in 1909 for this election, adding 16 new seats to the legislature. Multiple new seats were added to balance out the north-south divide, and both Calgary and Edmonton were awarded an additional seat. Elections were now also to be held using the multiple non-transferable vote system. After his loss in 1905, R.B. Bennett resigned as leader of the Conservatives, leaving the party struggling to find a permanent leader. Albert Robertson, the MLA for High River, was chosen as leader of the opposition, but was not made the party leader. Robertson was an early advocate for more provincial control over natural resources, but struggled to have his caucus heard due to the overwhelming Liberal majority. Things were not made better by the party failing to nominate a leader at their party convention first offering it to Member of Parliament Maitland McCarthy, who declined. R.B. Bennett was renominated as leader, but he also declined. The convention ended without a permanent leader being named, so Robertson was left as the de facto leader. In response to the unrest from the labor movements, the Socialist Party was founded. It is unknown who their leader was at the time, but one man who stood out was Charles O'Brien, a miner, logger, and railway worker who had come to Alberta in 1899 to work on the Crow's Nest Pass section of the railway. Another result of the labor movement was the official founding of the first edition of the Alberta Labor Party. It sent shockwaves through the province when Labour candidate Donald McNabb won the 1909 by-election in Lethbridge, marking the first time that a third-party candidate had won a seat. During the campaign, the Liberals ran on a platform of Rutherford, reliability, and railroad, which resonated well with voters. Rutherford was also an advocate for a nonpartisan mindset, expressing that all voters are Albertans, that the interests of the province should come before party loyalty. While the Conservatives were advocates for government ownership of telephones and railways, along with promising a plebiscite on the prohibition of liquor trafficking, their platform was largely aligned with the governing Liberals. And here are the results. Alexander Rutherford won, securing his second term as Premier. His Liberal Party won 36 out of a possible 41 seats, while securing 59.26% of the popular vote, an increase of 14 seats and 1.7% 1 from 1905. Next came Albert Robertson, whose Conservative Party won two seats, along with 31.69% of the popular vote keeping them even in seat count, but dropping 5.44% of the vote from 1905. Next came the leaderless Socialist Party, winning one seat and 2.6% of the popular vote. Finally, Donald McNabb and the Labour Party came forth, winning no seats and only 0.43% of the popular vote. While R.B. Bennett had returned to politics and won a seat in Calgary, Conservative leader Albert Robertson lost his seat in Nanton to the Liberals. Charles O'Brien, with support from coal miners, was elected by a slim majority in Rocky Mountain, marking the first time that a third-party candidate had won in a general election. Despite being the incumbent, Labour leader Donald McNabb placed a distant third place in his riding of Lethbridge, becoming one of the shortest-serving MLAs in Alberta history. I'll see you in the next one.